Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve assessment problem 4.6 from Nielsen and Riedel book. So the question is use the not voltage method to find P1. P1 is this one in the circuit shown. Okay, probably let's analyze this circuit first. We want this here as our reference node or our ground. So the voltage here will be zero. And we need to find out the P1 which is also the value of this node here if it is counted from the ground okay but then if this is ground the node here is 60 volt from the ground so this will be 60 from the ground but here the difference between this node and this node has to be 6 i5 so that means that this one is 60 plus 6 i5 so this node here is 60 plus 6i5 okay now maybe take a look at this one because this one here is interesting so we have i0 here but we also have i0 here so maybe we can get some some equation from this this situation here so let's see at i phi okay we know that i phi here so we will have i phi is equal to this voltage node here minus v1 divided by 3 so i will have 60 plus 6 i phi minus v1 divided by 3 okay now multiplying both sides by 3 so we'll have 3 i y is equal to 60 plus 6 i phi minus p1 so that means that p1 minus 3 i phi is equal to 60 okay we have uh, an equation with two variables good enough maybe let's have this as equation number one okay now we need to find out v1 here so maybe let's just do kcl but in the node v1 so let's assume the direction of the current maybe it's going into v1 and this going out to from v1 okay so now let's do kcl at v1 so let's do KCL at P1 and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. There are two currents that goes in, this one and this one. Okay, maybe let's analyze it one by one. So this one here is 60 minus P1 divided by 2 and this one here is so we will have 60 plus 6 i phi minus v1 and then divided by 3 and then what else yeah i think there there are only two currents that goes in so we need an equal signs here and this one will be P1 over 24. Okay, we can multiply both sides by 24. Okay, and so we will have 720 from here. And then minus 12 P1. And then plus 480 here. 480 and then plus 48 I phi. And then minus 8p1. Yeah, I think minus 8p1. And that will equal to p1. Okay, now for the p1, we can move all the p1 to the right hand side. On the left hand side, we will have minus 20. Moving it to the right hand side, we will have 21. Uh, 21 p1. And then the i phi only came from here, so I will have minus 48 i phi 
and 720 plus 480 that will be 1200 so we'll have 1200 here and this is equation number two okay so now we have two equation here equation number one and equation number two and we need to solve for v1 here so the v1 is here okay maybe let's clean up our slide here and continue on the next slide okay so far we found out these two equation and this is two equation with two variables we can simply just use elimination so we want to eliminate the i pi here so maybe let's make all of them 48 so we need to multiply the equation number one by 16 so equation number one multiplied by 16 that should be 16 v1 and then minus 48 i phi and then this will be 960 i think 960 right 960 yeah 960 and then equation number two we just leave it as is so we will have 21 v1 and then minus 48 i phi and that should be 1200 okay and then we just need to subtract them right we will need to subtract them okay and 16 minus 21 that will be minus 5 p1 and 960 subtracted by 1200 it's hard to calculate so let's just use our calculator 960 minus 1200 okay that should be minus 240 minus 240 that means that v1 is 240 divided by 5 or that should be 48 volt is it correct i'm not sure maybe let's just try it 240 divided by 5 is 48 yeah i did not make mistakes in calculation so this is the answer for p1 the answer is 48 volt I think I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Why? Because it is exactly the same as the answer given by the problem. And I think that's all for assessment problem 4.6. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.